Hello guys, welcome back. Now, today I wanted to talk about a little bit of uh, things that I would like to see, not just for 1.0 necessarily, even though a couple of these points could be easily implemented in 1.0, but in general, I mean, from 1.0 onwards, okay? Now, some are quality of life, some are like kind of far-fetched, some are kind of crazy, uh, some are plausible, right? You'll see. Now, I prepared the list. So let's go uh, throughout all the points. First of all, the clock time, the clock wait time, quality of life. This is quality of life. Now, what do I mean by that? You know how there are different moments of the day in Zen and Zone Zeros, right? When you're playing, you're going to have like a quest or a character date, quote unquote. Oh, let's go watch. Let's go watch the movies. Let's go watch the movies at this time, at this time of the day and this day. Okay, if you miss it, now she, the person goes away, and you need to like re, like you need to wait a couple of days before they invite you again. It's uh, sometimes it's annoying because you need to be careful on what activity are you doing before a certain moment because otherwise that activity might take too long and you won't have enough time during that portion of the day to do something else because that activity was supposed to use an entire so, uh, an entire slot of the day so uh, it's not morning anymore now it's afternoon you had something to do in the morning and now it's over now it's gone right this could be annoying it was annoying in the cbd3 because i wasn't accustomed to it yes we know exactly what activity uh progresses how much time but even then it's annoying so what i would like to have in uh, even in 1.0 i think it, i think it's pretty fine it's uh, some sort of a clock i don't know if you played skyrim something like that like a wait system you click you press ask or something or you open like your phone or something you click the clock when do you want to wait up to uh morning and it goes up to the next morning or something you uh voluntarily destroy everything burn everything on the rest of the day you don't care you just want to get to the morning right oh i want to get to the afternoon jump everything go to the afternoon i feel like this could be a good quality of life so that way if you have a a date with nb or unbi or something or nicole and it's in the night and you're in the morning you don't mess it up you just go okay just go there just go there boom night right that's the first one. Now, I would like to see uh, Max Preview uh, on the W Engine. You know how the W Engine, if those uh, of you that don't know, uh, by the way, I made a guide, so you can go check the guide if you don't know what they are, but briefly, they're, they're just signature weapons, or just weapons in general. And W, look at W as weapon, weapon engine, okay? So these engines, especially the ones that are signature on the banners that you're going to spend money on or pull on, don't have a function to check them at, at max value or like a level 60 or level level 70, whatever the max is. I think it's 60 and not necessarily at like S5 or R5, right? Not maxed out whale. These stats, I want to see how far it goes, uh, because that way you will be able to determine like, oh, OK, this doesn't go that high. I can use my a tier one that i have i think it's pretty far or, or you can get the uh on the battle pass you can get like somewhere on the battle pass oh i think the battle pass is just five percent less strong than the signature weapon i guess i'll get this one instead right so but if we don't know then it's up in the air right that's why i would like to see something like this i think uh most likely we'll get him in in 1.0 uh, this is just one of those uh fixes that were the things that were features that were missing in cbt3 i would assume that it's already there just right now while i'm talking it's already there in the uh, final version of the game now moving on i would like to see a holo zero expansion this is pretty normal no one is surprised uh we will also probably gonna get it uh i would like to see a holo zero expansion i would like to see a expansion multiple times very often because that's one of the two uh, big end games that we have in Zelda Zone Zero and I like the roguelike I like the roguelike with the with the with the cards like simulate the universe that's pretty fun now it doesn't have to be a long run long runs are usually going to put off people nobody has the time to do that shit nobody has the time to do golden gears uh, maybe some do 
most of the people are not going to do it because it, it, it's very, very long. So instead, I would like to see uh, something more, like something harder, more uh, demanding in terms of RNG maybe, but the, the, the run is like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, right? That would be, and you don't have to do it every day. That would be the best, the best balance. That way uh, we can, uh, we, we're like incentivized to go do it. It's a challenge, it's fun to do. Uh, yeah, sometimes you get shit RNG, but okay, minus 10 minutes, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. Uh, so, but I would like to see in general, regardless on how they're gonna make it, I would like to see multiple and frequent Holo Zero expansions because that's like, what else are we gonna do otherwise, right? Next up, Shield Defense, obviously. I would like to see expansion for that as well like pure fiction or the apocalypse thing that it's just released on Uncastar Rail. They can easily do that, I feel like. Uh, ch just mix it up a little bit. Instead of uh, demanding a team of uh, X element, do something else. Do like a solo challenge. Do a, do a boss rush. Uh, do like a super timed, uh, short timed uh, super speed run or something. I don't know. A multiplayer. You can do whatever you want. Now, next up. Arcade expansion. The arcade expansion, I think, is going to be pretty obvious. It's another pretty obvious thing. But you know what arcade means? Arcade means they, they can go crazy on minigames. I want to see something like Metal Slug. I want to see something like Street Fighter. And maybe that's why they're doing the round table. Uh, maybe not because of a collab. I mean, a collab would be amazing. I, I, don't, I don't have anything uh, against it, to be honest. But they could easily do something like Ultra Punch, and it's like a like a non copyrighted version of of uh, Street Fighter, and they're just gonna have it like on the arcade and just go there and play. It would be funny, and it would be super fun to have something like that on the arcade. I would play the hell out of it. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a fi super fighting game uh, guy, but I always liked playing fighting games. My first. PS1 game that I bought with my own money when I was a kid was Tekken 3. So, you know, we already have Snake, we have the Hounds, uh, they can do Bubble Bubble, I think it's called. They, they could go ham. They can make like a non copyright version if they don't want to bother with the copyright, uh, the license, licensing uh, and shit. Uh, so, I would like to see some arcade stuff, okay? Maybe even multiplayer, who knows? Or not, you don't have to do a multiplayer necessarily. Uh, now, next up, more things to do in the city. Uh, the, city is, the city is dead. The city is too dead. Uh, just the NPC running around. Uh, now, the NPC look cool. I don't, have any, I don't have anything to say on the NPCs. But I would like to have something to do in the city. So maybe open up some buildings or maybe let me actually go in the stores or maybe sc scatter around some like cool Easter eggs, some cool things that I can pick up. There, there is one. I'm not going to spoil it yet. It's part of a future video. But that is not enough, obviously. Uh, so I would like to, you know, to see something, something like more engaging in the city. For example the events. Why don't we make every event visible? Just make every event visible. You know how there is the 141, I think it's called, a bazaar event, and there is like an actual stall there, and there's a girl selling stuff. Make it visual every time. Like, okay, Christmas event, renovate the city. Put it like, put it in Christmas mode. Uh, summer, Put everybody in like uh, summer clothes, not necessarily in a bikini because they're like, you know, walking in the city. You don't walk in the city in a bikini, at least not where I live. I don't know where you live, but uh, not in that way. But like everybody dressed for winter, everybody or everybody dressed for summer, depending on the, the, the events that they're going on at the moment, right? It would be cool. It would be way more uh, pleasant to watch, it would be more immersive. It would feel like MMOs do this. I am a, I, I used to be a mega MMO guy uh, re until recently. So I think I think it's gonna be really cool. Next up, I want to see actual transport. You know how there is the the metro when you can go there and then you just you stop at the stairs. You can't go down. I want to see that. I want to go there. I want I want the metro map. I want the metro map that is like make it empty. Uh, don't have to worry too much about it. Make it like scripted, like only one corridor, technically. And then the, on on the on the right there's the train, and on the left there's like the the benches and like I don't know some NPCs that sell stuff. 
and then I, ju I I take the train and with the train I can go the metro and then with the metro I can go where I know to another map another city or something right so this doesn't have to be there on 1.0 or if you want to put it there on 1.0 just don't don't put the train there just put the metro you go down and it's because it's gonna say like oh this this um this metro is still not functional uh, you need to wait for oh the train cannot pass here because there is a hollow you can you can make up whatever you want next expanded video shop you know how you have your video right you have your video they uh, with your with your um with your sibling now i would like to see more in that regard what do i mean you know i go you go there you can select the movies that you're playing you can select who's being there like selling tickets you can set you can sit down the bamboo, bamboo. you can uh, select the promoter outside now i don't see uh, you don't see the promoter outside it would be cool to see it uh, it's just a, a, li a little bit of uh quality of life not quality of life but a little bit of an immersion point but that's not what i mean i mean like actual little management doesn't have to be mandatory make it like you just get some more dennies which is the money just just make it give all dennies only and if you want to get more dennies you go play that little mini game a little management mini game you go there you manage your your shop you select your movies you actually see like um the auditorium whatever it's called in english where you can see the well, people seeing the movie like the theater room or maybe like you can actually maybe you can actually see the movie there or manage like your your finances or something something around the shop like it feels like you actually have a shop or something it would be cool uh, i don't know how exactly it would be but it would be nice to have something like that that you can opt in and just do it if you feel like it if you don't feel like it just do it you don't do it you just miss like i don't know like 50k dennis per day or something it doesn't have to be crazy something like more expanded things that we already have long story short right so now second point no second point and next point the ability to come to go around as your preferred character if i pull ellen i don't want to see bell i want to see ellen if i pull uh, rena i want to go around as rena i know it's kind of immersion breaking but who gives a fuck it's a gacha game we're not playing a, a, a rpg immersion rpg we're not rping it's not DD, so I want to go around with the character I paid money for. That's crazy, right? Wow, wow, what a request. It's crazy. Hold him down. Uh, yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to do that. So, yeah. Even in 1.0, I would like to see that. Genshin does it. Honkai does it. Honkai Saturday does it. Last point skins. I'm looking at you, Hoyo. Skins now. Skins and now. I don't know what is Hoyo's problem. I don't know what is Hoyo's problem with the skins. Every other gacha game, they're spamming skins non-stop. And they're making crazy money. The game hype goes super high on certain games just because they released the new Booba uh, summer skin, right? So, uh, what? Why 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 not? Why why not skin? Why not skins? Can we get some skins in Zelda in Zelda Zone Zero? Eventually, at least not on day one, but eventually. I wanna see skins. Can we get some skins? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh but yeah. Uh, I don't think there is anything else. I didn't think I missed anything. Uh, oh, last one, but it's I think it's kind of whatever. I would like to see more... Actually, it's not whatever. It's clever if you think about it. I would like to see more hidden groups. There is a group at the moment in 1.0. It's called the Gra Graffiti something. Uh, they want you to pick up some uh, spray cans. And they naturally drop while you play the game you do encounters. And they have their own little progression. They give you a couple of pulls and a couple of... Uh, a couple of... Uh, Bang Boo Banner coupons. I think they're called Boopons now. So... That would be cool because at that point you will be trained into thinking that a random NPC extra quest might lead to extra pulls. And if they do it here and there, it would actually make it fun to go and approach NPCs and start to start talking with them. Like right? do something like do something like hidden stuff. Do whatever you want. Like 
it would be nice to have that since the, the city the city and the maps are so tiny and small there's nothing in it at least to make it interesting with like some hidden secrets here and there right or some interaction that lead into cooler stuff okay so this is more or less at the moment what i would like to see what i yeah not necessarily 1.1 but 1.0 but 1.1 2 3 2.0 3.0 in, in general okay i would like to see some some of these but i would like to know what you want from the game what would you like to see from the game let me know in the comments i'm actually really curious what would you like to see from uh, from the game uh 1.0 onwards not just on 1.0 so keep that in mind so you, you can go crazier so let me know in the comments uh that is it thank you for watching as usual i will be live on uh 4th of july playing the game i will also uh, be live on uh, the live stream that they're gonna do i'm gonna restream it and gonna, we're gonna react to it twitch.tv forward slash jackson if you're interested go follow leave a like subscribe to the channel for more ccc content and see you guys next time